I'll be home for Chris. Oh wait, it's not that easy. Hey friends, I'm Joel Kolesky, the super brave teacher, and we need to talk. We need to talk about being gay around the holidays, being LGBTQ around the holidays. It's tough. Before I get into it, like this video, share this video. You are appreciated and valued just for being you, and I would appreciate it and value it, not you all the more, but I would really appreciate it and value it if you like this video, share this video, and get the word out that we want to tip Google and YouTube and Reddit across in an accepting way, and it starts with people like me sharing their stories and sparking bravery and getting vulnerable. So let's... Like the video, but let's get vulnerable. Holidays are tough. If you are gay, holidays are tough. If you are LGBTQ, holidays are tough. Now, I'm not taking away from your story. If you are not like me, I'm sure holidays are tough too because I think holidays have all this weight of expectation and there's a story behind holidays and there's a story behind the story and there's a story behind that story. And I think that every year it's like, an onion, there's just all these layers and you're like, wait, that's what was going on in our family and you learn all these beautiful things, but it's also hard. So I'm not here to compare us, to make a comparison between me and you. Hard is hard. And I wanna get into my herd. So let's get into it and I'll, let's start being vulnerable. When I came out, I didn't have a boyfriend. And I think my family was pretty accepting and excited about that fact, like, okay, we can wrestle with the fact that you're gay and you made it clear that you just want to live a life as a gay man, but you're not going to be a practicing, <laughs> wink, wink, a practicing homosexual, a practicing gay man. Meaning I'm not going to have sex is what, how they interpreted it, which I didn't come out of the closet for all of you. I didn't come out of the closet to have sex. You can have sex in the closet. In fact, that's what people do in the closet. That's what I did in the closet. You had sex but you wanted to come out because you wanted to live a, an authentic life. So, okay, I'm gonna get off that platform right now, but you don't come out of the closet to have sex. So anyway, back to the story. <laughs> when I came out, I, my family was much more accepting until I started dating. And once I started dating, it turned into this thing of like, oof, how do we deal with this? And I think a good way to do it is give your family a year of grieving and figuring out what they need. Some people disagree and they're like, hey, they need to grieve, you need to grieve, you need to grieve being in the closet for, for in my case, 26 years. But that's not the point. I think it's important to let your family grieve and do what they need to do. So I was doing that and letting my family grieve and do what they needed to do. And part of that was once I started having a boyfriend and then a fiance and then a husband was that they slowly started cutting us out of their life. And I think that's an intense word and I don't think that they would say, oh, we were intentionally cutting you out of our life. But the truth is that we were not allowed to go to be around our whole family for holidays so I couldn't be around my brothers or their kids for holidays and that is their adult choice. I'm not here to place a judgment on their adult choice. I am going to say that due to their choice, it has intense hard impacts on people like me. It means that now, and I'm not, I didn't coin this phrase, but now instead of having my biological family to be with for Christmas, I have my logical family. And that at first was my boyfriend, then fiance, then hu now husband, and a collective group of awesome friends who said, you know what, we're gonna stick by you. And we're gonna, you don't have a place to be for Thanksgiving, you can be at our place for Thanksgiving. You don't have a place for Christmas, be at our place. Easter, we got you covered. Whatever holiday is hard for you, we will collectively get behind you, this logical family. And, for someone like me, it's an extra struggle though because I really love my family. I love my brothers. I love my mom. I love my dad. Especially like I said before, like we've already had death in our family and, it, and to be taken away from that, cut from that, whatever word you want to use, was tough because I, I was feeling like, wait a second, like, am, 
is it like you're grieving that I'm never going to be a part of your life ever again? Am, am I never going to be a part of your life again? And those relationships have been healing. And it's still hard. Like, I, I do talk to them. And it's still hard because I don't think they always remember how hard it must be on this end. I'm not saying that it's not hard on their end. I'm not saying that it's not hard for a mom not to celebrate Christmas with her child at all. But imagine being the child who is celebrating with their logical family while their entire biological family is together. I'm not throwing shade or shame at all. I'm just saying, imagine that. It's tough. And then imagine coming out of the closet to have, to reclaim your worth and to reclaim your values, to reclaim who you are and to live a life of integrity and honesty and knowing that that biological family somehow is thinking that you're not doing that. You're not living a life of integrity. Therefore, we don't want to be around you for the holidays. So I think for me, once November hits, I start getting sad because it's still hard. No, don't get me wrong. I love my logical family. If you are a part of my logical family and you're watching this video right now, thank you so much for being there for me, for being there for us. And it's still really tough because, like I said, I love my biological family. So November is a tough month. And then it goes in December and you're like, oh my goodness, it's Christmas and New Year's and all these things where you have these beautiful memories. Like, I, I'm cut from the same cloth as them. I'm, there, it's not a shocker that I make special traditions and magical moments and memories with my husband because that's what my family did. And I miss those moments and I miss that time together. And I think my reason for sharing this video is for anyone out there watching this video this year or 10 years from now, 20 years from now, if you are gay, if you are lesbian, if you are transgender, if you are bisexual, if you are queer, wherever you fall on this spectrum, that is okay. And a lot of times your biological family is not going to get you. And that's because they don't get it. And you're different. But if you're different like me, just know that that's okay. And that you're not alone at all during the holidays. You will feel lonely. I feel lonely right now you're just filming this video. But you are not alone. And you will never be alone. And I'm not gonna lie and say that every second of every day, having my logical family is like, yay, I won, you know, you, you can't choose your biological family, but the logical family you can choose. That sounds nice, but it's still tough at times. I, I agree with that statement the majority of the time, but there are times when it's still really tough because if you're like me, you really care and you want to do what's best for everybody and you're figuring that out. So I have an idea. Let's keep figuring it out together. Let's keep sharing our stories. Let's keep letting the world know who we are. Whether you're a teacher, you're a student, or however you found this channel, just know that you are awesome. You are not just being who you are, regardless of what going, is going on for the holidays. And each year, it's gonna get easier in some ways, and it's gonna get harder in some ways, and it's gonna get lonelier in some ways, and you're gonna get braver in so many ways just being who you are. So, thank you for that. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. And Joel, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's not always okay, but you're doing great because you are loved, you are appreciated, you are valued just for being you. 
regardless of your biological family or your logical family. But savor it right now. Take it in. Take it in. Bye, friends. <laughs>